So, good morning everyone. I am Diana Jane C. Espanol, currently taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English at City, Barilla Campus. And for today, we will be learning about the parallel structure. So, in mathematics, they have parallel lines. Also, in English, we have parallel structure or parallelism. So, in this video, we're expected to learn what is parallelism and how to spot parallelism structure on a sentence and how to fix them. So, parallelism, it is when all of the phrases or words in a sentence follows the same pattern. So, to better understand this concept, let us look into our examples. And now, we have here our basic example. I love eating playing and learning so here we have three parallel structure eating playing and learning and what is their similarities these three words are all written in gerund form so what if i'll change the first example into this one i love eating playing and to learn can we still consider this as a parallel structure no it is not it is already incorrect because the there is no pattern already because the first two is written in gerund form and this and the last one is not. And for our next example, we have here the sentence, I want to go to Canada and get a job. So here we have a parallel structure which is go to Canada and get a job. So what is the pattern here? So both of these phrases are action words and both of them are written in same tense and down to our next example we have here the sentence roger is learning music chess and how to make art so in this example we have here the music chess and how to make art this is the parallel structures but sad sadly we have to fix this one because they are not following the same pattern because music and chess are noun and this one is verb. So how to change this one to noun? So we could simply put or erase how to make and just leave art alone. So after fixing the sentence, we have here, Roger is learning music, chess, and art. And that is the correct answer. Okay, this one, this example. Marife is a talented director, actor, and is good at singing. So, which of the following should be in parallel? So, we have director, actor, and is good at speaking. But of the three things I've mentioned before, which of the following are already in parallel? So, we have director and actor. So, we have to fix this sentence. And so, after fixing the error, we have here, Marife is a talented director, actor, and speaker. And so, after studying more and about parallel structure from our examples, you can question yourself, what is the importance of studying parallel structure? And now, I will answer that. Studying parallelism or parallel structure is important because if you are a writer and you're using parallel structure, it will give you a sense of order and rhythm to the reader. And... That's it for today's topic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. And please do visit my YouTube channel because I will be uploading more videos, informative videos like this. And that would be all for today. Bye!